I don't know where to start, but basically I've been in chronic pain from about September 2017. I started getting pain just behind my stomach. Now, um, I went for a sports massage as soon as it happened and that pain was remained constant, but it wasn't as bad. My attention wasn't as bad. And it probably took about a good year and a bit before um, I really went into a bad, a bad constipation and um, all that stuff. So I've been through so many doctors trying to figure out what's wrong. Um, I've done, I've been gastroenterologist. I've been to neurosurgeons. I've done MRIs on my spine. I've swallowed cameras. I've done gastroscopies. All those. Like I've done everything from a, a physical aspect, and nothing seems to be pinpointing what the, the problem is. Right. Okay. And so when you tremor, where do you get the tremors? So now that we, we've been manipulating it a bit, the, the furthest I've gotten it is just just above my um, my stomach. But mm -hmm. the first time I tremored, I felt so much anxiety, the same anxiety I normally feel, which was from my stomach region all the way down. But I feel like my tremor does uh, focus on my gut. And when I'm okay. done with the session, I feel like I'm, my, I'm actually not in the, like a ball. I feel like I'm open up a, a, and I... I just want to run where I just I feel so like relaxed. Most of my tension is being stored in my gut. I get in a loop. My day feels like it's an honest loop. I wake up in the morning, I've got anxiety, then all of a sudden it goes away, then I'm back on and in the moment it hits again, I'm just in my head and it just it doesn't Right. Happen. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. That helps me. Yeah, I that think a big good. reason for the angst and stuff was also because there was so much people telling me no, it's this, people telling me that's this, no, it's this, and you never actually ever know. As I get in more pain, the anxiety starts and the constipation starts, and it's, it's just like a never-ending cycle. Right. So tell me where you feel the tremors. So the, I can feel the tremor in my hips, pretty much. Okay, cool. So Colleen, our desire is to move those tremors up. So you're going to do an occipital ridge release with him. You cup your hands underneath his head, put your fingers at the base of his skull, and gently pull his head towards you. Just nice and easy, like stretching the neck, real simple. And Keegan, you take a nice deep breath, you breathe in and you let out a sigh. Now, Colleen, now we're gonna go down to his knees. Look at all the energy that's in his legs. Well, we wanna push that up the body a little bit, okay? So go down to his, that's it, down to his feet there and put your hands gently on the outside of his knees, inhibiting the tremor a little bit, but not stopping it. So you can feel it move up instantly. Good. All right. So there, the body's showing us, does, does, that, does that help it? And it did. Let go, Colleen, and let's see if it can do it by itself. Definitely moved up a bit. Yeah, it's in your move lower up. back. I can see that. That's beautiful. So now we're hitting the diaphragm. And you okay? That You're comfortable with this, Keegan? Yeah, I'm good. Good. All right. Okay, so now we've got to pump that diaphragm a little bit because you know that's going to be tight with anxiety and panic and fear. Okay, so go back up to his head, Colleen. What you're going to do is lean into him with your weight. So come up higher onto your knees, lean in, and you breathe your air out. Breathe all, That's it. Breathe it all out. And when he breathes in, just come off a bit, Colleen. Let him breathe in natural. We're just going to kind of pump the chest a little bit. That's it. Breathe out all the ways, all the ways that Keegan. One more time, Colleen. Ah, oh, exhale completely, Keegan. Good. All right. So now we just wait and see, does the body respond to that? And you can go back down to his legs. Because again, look how excited the charge is in his legs. And we want to use that to go up his body. It's really going up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, take a breath, Keegan. Like, oh, it's finally over. I can move. I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> that's it let it come you <laughs> that's it you, you may laugh or cry or both because your diet <laughs> like a bit of both. yeah do both let, just follow your body let it laugh let it cry it doesn't matter 
because your body's just excited. It's being stimulated. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ah, take a deep breath. That's it. And let it out with a sigh, Keegan, because that helps your vocal cords open up too. Okay, um, Colleen, you're going to do the outsides of his knees again because it's still a lot of movement down there that we can use up the body further. So don't stop them, but inhibit them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and so we need to hold this for a little bit. So we give it a chance to learn this pattern, and then we'll see if it can do this pattern by itself. <laughs> okay, go ahead, let go, Colleen. Look at you. That's wonderful. You're just purring along there. Nice. Look at that spinal re uh, flexibility this coming This is the out. highest it's ever gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's quite beautiful to see. We're just giving your spine some time to enjoy this pleasure. It's loosening by itself. So we don't, we want to allow it to do, ah, oh, it's going to come into your shoulders. I can see that already. Do you see that Colleen? <laughs> Something just shifted. His shoulders are going to open up. Yeah. We'll help them a little bit. You could see they're trying. His shoulders are trying to move right now, not just his spine, but actually his shoulder girdle. There you go. Now that was your diaphragm loosening itself. See, now your body's going to start to breathe you. Wow, I'm great. I'm loving this. Okay, <laughs> good. All right. So now, uh, Colleen, we're going to help his shoulders open up. So you're right there on his uh, right side. So stay on his right side. You're going to slide your fingers under his right shoulder. And don't help her because she needs your weight. And you're going to go between the shoulder blade and the spinal column. So between the shoulder blade and spinal column, there's going to be a knot in there somewhere. And Keegan, you help <laughs> her find it. And then you, you tuck your fingers up into that knot, like push up into it. There you go. The shoulder's releasing already. Okay, let it go. If it's releasing already, let go. Now you see just the right shoulder is really moving. Yeah. You release it, but see, the left and right shoulders always want to be in, in dialogue with each other, so the left shoulder isn't. So we're going to try a self-intervention. I want you to artificially move your left shoulder the way your right. Oh, there it goes already. All right. right. Uh, so you, your, your body knows I'm after it. See, so it's uh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay, so now take another deep breath, Keegan. <sighs> Breathe it out with a sigh. It's over. You're getting through this. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Take a deep breath, Keegan. Breathe it out. No, with a sigh. Let it go through your vocal cords. You need that vibration. <laughs> That's the one. There we go. There's the tiger inside. That's what we're looking for. And see how it helps your body? Definitely tremor more when my body's got no air in it. Yeah, exactly. That's true of most people because you're adjusting your diaphragm. So you can, there you go. Look, your hips and shoulders now are in sync. See how they're trying to connect with one another. The hips and shoulders are both trying to connect because if you change one, the other one has to readjust. Oh, there's that little wiggle in his back. You feel, there it is. <laughs> All right. That's loosening the vertebrae now. That's good. And see, it's starting to come out his left hand a little bit. Starting yeah. to move, okay? The pain That's... is also on the left side. Yeah, I see that. But don't worry, we'll see if it can um, activate both sides. If not, we'll, we'll stimulate it. Ah, that wiggle is perfect for you. This is what's going to loosen your spine. So much going on here. My brain's malfunctioning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Go back to his knees again. They're getting too rambunctious down there. We want that energy going I'm up the body. Rambunctious. <laughs> they may fight you a little bit more because they're getting looser. 
Yeah, see how strong his legs are getting now? This is good. Keep holding them, because see, it's forcing it up the body. That's where we need it to go. Look at his lower back and his hips. It's beautiful. We want it to go right back up into his shoulders again. Okay. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As he gets looser, that energy gets stronger, so you have to fight it a little bit harder. Take a deep breath, Keegan, let it out with a sigh. Ah, <sighs> oh, there, see, now that wiggle's going further up his back. Can you see that? Yeah. That's beautiful. That's it, squeeze his knees even a little harder than that. That's it, make them fight. That's it, there you go. I feel my stomach is so relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is giving it so much space in there already, real fast, actually. Yeah, that's beautiful. See, oh, that's beautiful right there. Look at that nice neck release going on. Okay, go ahead, let go of his knees and let's see what happens. See, look, right there, that's the panic and anxiety that got stuck inside of you, Keegan, as a child. That's what that rapid yeah. movement is on the inner legs like that. That's just panic and fear. That is crazy. Yeah. So we have to let that, no, we're going to let that discharge a little bit. I don't even feel like it's like fatiguing me at all. It just feels like it's just like you said, releasing. Yeah, that's what it's doing. And so it actually energizes you because you've been holding all of this in so tight. That was fatiguing, holding it in. Now that it releases, your body just has so much yeah. energy available. Just take a deep breath, Keegan. Ah, oh, relax. Yeah. That's it. Let your body do what it knows how to do. <clears throat> No, no, nice. I'm saying I'm not even getting tired like I normally would. This is, I also feel like it's different muscles that are tremoring right now. Uh huh, great. Normally yeah. it's like my hamstrings and stuff. This is like my, my whole quad. Like exactly it's, it's right. Like my quad yeah, it's hamstrings, adductors, quads. It's just down in the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like it's calming down a bit. Yeah, and it should. That means it's discharging the, the anxious energy, and that's perfect. We'll just let it calm down a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, there you go. See, that was your diaphragm breathing you again. See, now that all that tight anxiety has released, now the legs can actually move. <laughs> oh, it's like crazy. Yeah, this is structural movement now because the yeah. tightness in the muscle tissue is relaxed. So now the legs are saying, oh, I can move myself now. See how your right hip is different from your left? I also think it's because I've got a bad right knee. So the, the right side is a lot weaker than the left. Okay. All right. So your body's trying to fix that. See all that, that movement from the legs just was in the hips now. All that movement yeah. from the hips. But see, it had to loosen the legs because they were too tight. They were holding the hips stuck. So now that it loosened the legs, it can move in the hips and then yeah, loosen it up. And you can see, look at his right shoulder again. So the whole right side is weakened. So anytime you injure a joint on one side of the body, all the other joints, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders will also be affected. I feel like I've released so much. That's good. You're doing great there, Keegan. Just relax and let your body do the work because I can see it needs to loosen itself a little bit more before we intervene again. That's it. A deep breath again with a sigh. That sigh really makes a difference. <laughs> oh, it, it absolutely does, yeah, because the vibration of the vocal cords interacts with the vibration of the fascia pattern that's releasing. So they actually help each other. 
And there's that little wiggle again. See how it's getting softer? It means it's looser now. It's more flexible. It doesn't have to work so hard. Ah, look at that. Look at that nice isolated lower back movement there. That's lovely. Well, wow, that's really good, that movement there, Keegan. See, it's in his right hip again. And when there's injury like that, we have to wait and wait and wait because the amount of um, tissue that it needs to move back into place is a lot and it's t tight at a very deep level. So it has to kind of stay there and slowly massage the release. This part we can't rush but we can see it's being effective because it's now connecting yeah. his legs with his hips and his lower back. All three are starting to move as one whole unit rather than as separate parts. Can you feel that, Keegan? Yeah, for sure. I feel like my lower back's even loosening. Oh, a lot. Yeah, the way it's moving is beautiful. Now see how it goes back down into the legs? And it's releasing more of that anxiety. You can see that. So that means it's going down layers. It's going deeper and deeper here. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like I'm even like trying anything. It just started in my legs again. Yeah, exactly right. Because inside, it's just following tissue. And so when tissue releases, it moves. And then when tissue gets tight, it'll go back to that tissue and loosen it. So now, no, I'm straight away, as you call it. Yeah. And into your lower back. See, now there, there again, it shows you systematically it's following a pattern in there. And it's just going from layer to layer to layer. There you go. Look at that. Oh, boy. Oh. <sighs> Keep your breath, Keegan. It's going into some emotional stuff here. Yeah. Well, breathe with it. Keep your jaw open and breathe. Don't hold back the emotion. You need this release. This is going to loosen your belly, too. What's the emotion, Keegan? Relief. Okay. That is an emotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people cry with from relief. I just feel relieved. You don't understand. For the longest time, I thought this was my life, you know? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I'm going to be pain. Ah, breathe again with sound. When it comes into your neck like that, use your vocal cords. Yeah, yeah that right hip is going to have. Now, the right hip, the way it's moving, that's because that the injury in the knee. That's not because of the upset in his stomach area. That's different trauma. And see how it keeps moving the right shoulder? And I think we could loosen his shoulders a bit more than that. Yeah, every time I say that, they start to move. Go over to his left. Right. Colleen, go to his left shoulder and do the same release that you did in the right shoulder. Slide your hand under between the shoulder blade and the spine. Stick your fingers up in there and find if there's any tight knot and push into it. Keegan, you help her find the knot if there's any in there. You might have to slide your hand up or down, left or right. No, straight away. Oh, it's too high. Oh. Uh, yeah. See there, when you hit it, you can see the release starting to occur. Can you see that, Colleen? Yes. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, you can let go because now it's connecting the shoulders with the neck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. There's so much going on that I don't even know where to focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Th this is what's really cool is that your body was ready to do this. So the minute somebody understood how to help it, it responds immediately. Yeah. This is such a privilege. Thank oh, you, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's delightful. I mean, look how much fun this is watching somebody come alive. <laughs>
more fun doing it, I can tell you. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. There's got to be a way we need to make more people aware of this. Okay, do another occipital ridge release. You're going to just straighten his neck a little bit more because it's looser now, so I know it can loosen up some more. And then we'll try a couple of other things. I had to give a nice tug, Colleen, towards you. And Keegan, you take a nice deep breath and let out a sigh. There, see what you just did? Brought it back up into his lower back again. Okay, let go of that, Colleen. Okay, you can release it. Which is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it feels lovely, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to teach you a couple of things, um, Keegan, so you could try them at home. So we're going to experiment here a little bit. I'm going to have you just slide your right leg flat onto the floor. That's something we have done, yeah? Yeah, because now that your hips are looser, see, now, I'm, now it's going down to your knee. See the, the right knee? Yeah. See, we need to get it to go down your leg now because your legs have to be included in the movement. But since you injured the right knee, it's going to have to fix that. But it has a new set of hips, so it can adjust the knee now. Yeah, normally my leg doesn't do this when we straighten it. Right, exactly. It couldn't do that because the hip and the quads and adductors were way too tight. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> That's it. There. See, your body's happy too. It's like, oh my yeah. God, I can get all this yeah. out. You know how weird the human body is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny because I think the ego is weird and the human body yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah. to me. The human body is the only piece of logic that we have, and we ignore it most of the time. <laughs> this is, for me, not logical enough. See, now here again, I'm just waiting, because we can't rush the knee adjustment. So we just wait until the body's done. And when it's finished, we'll know it. It will start to move in a different way. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> it's quite predictable if you understand it's just anatomy and tight muscle. And if you figure out how to loosen it, it can then start to loosen its own patterns of tightness. So it's crazy how like the, the direction of tremors and changes as well. Exactly right. Look at this. It's the hip, the knee, and now the ankles moving. <laughs> Do you see that? So now yeah. it's putting all those pieces together. So I can feel my ankles like loosening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even trying to do this. This is the worst part, or the best part. I'm like shocked. I can't actually even explain it. <laughs> it even feels like it's in my big toe. It is, yeah. It's going down into your toes. See how it's slowing down? Yeah. It, it was able to release the deep tension pattern. Now it can move itself more easily. But it literally feels like my big toe is like doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, see that? It's out of the knee and it's back into the hip. So now here's where the left hip is gonna to try to adjust as well. So now you bring up your right leg and slide your left one down. There you go, see there's the knee fixing itself there because that's the compensation knee. When yeah. You so it's got a, a, its own tight pattern that it has to release. Oh, can you feel how different it's moving? Exactly, it's moving differently because it contracted differently to compensate for the right knee injury. I'm loving feeling it move, so everyone's yeah. happy. 
But see how much tightness is in those in the left leg, even though that wasn't injured. There's a lot of yeah. tightness in there. Yeah. The worst thing is, is like I'm not trying to do this, so it doesn't make sense in my head. I love that when the ego gets confused. I think that's <laughs> that to me is success. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. See, this is between the knee and the hip right now. This is what it's doing. It's loosening that tight pattern. <sighs> I can feel how tired this leg's getting though. There it goes. There it goes. Look at that integration. You go, guy. <laughs> yeah, see that? Okay, bring your left knee up for a second. We'll let it tremor just a little bit, and then we're going to um, slide your legs down to relax. So your right hip is going to try to reconnect with the right shoulder, and then the left and hip and shoulder have to reconnect too, because they've been adjusted. Okay, slide your legs down. Just take a deep breath again. And Keegan, just lay there at rest for a minute. And then when you're ready, you're gonna come into a sitting position, but take your time. Yo, that was amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. How do you feel right now, Keegan? I feel all over, really. I don't know what, I can't really tell you. I feel like, firstly, a lot of relief, but I feel like, I, I feel like there's a lot of emotion that's about to come out. So I'm not really talking much, but I'm like, my mind is blown right now. Well, this, thanks for taking your time out to help. I really, I really appreciate it. You have no idea how long I've been struggling and just wanting to get better. <laughs> yeah, when when we, when I went from my left leg releasing and every like you say everything connected and I felt my whole body just like my shoulders everything, then I was like, whoa, the room's spinning. What is going on? What is my body doing? <laughs> and I've, I have no problem with expressing my emotion and talking about it and stuff. But I feel like um, I do definitely not deal with a lot of my things that I and that's what most men most men don't even know how to communicate. This okay. is something people need to become aware of. I'm sorry. This is. Especially after I've tried so many things to try and find a, a release of, of whatever this is. People need to become aware that there's no way. And it's not even there. This goes so in line with what I want to achieve in this life, which is help people. And this is where you can go around the world to people and kids that are suffering from war-torn countries, this kind of stuff like that, where, where kids are... They don't even know that they've got emotional damage and baggage that they're not dealing with. You don't even have to tell them that, but you do the, the treatment and it releases regardless. They don't even need to get to the point where I'm at and I'm in freeze and my emotions are all over the place. They can deal with that at a young age and it can be released from their body. It might be in their mind, but it's not being stored. <laughs> I actually can't even believe that this has just happened. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're both very welcome. It was a real pleasure. Thank you Thank so much. You. I hope you have a brilliant day further. Yeah. Thanks for this. Bye. Bye, -bye. Cheers. Thank you.